welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher louisa and i'm still here with my friend the theme of the week is communities and families in the last lesson we learned about vowel sounds and the alphabet before we begin our lesson let us sanitize our hands Rub your hands, spread out so that you don't touch the person next to you. In today's topic, we are going to be talking about nouns and punctuation. Our next lesson is on page 20. We are going to be talking about nouns. Nouns are names of things around us. Names of places, names of people, names of things. These are nouns. I have one noun on the board. It is also in your book. Let us name the picture on the board. What is this? A cat. Well done. It is a cat. What am I going to put here? C. C for cat. A C for cat. This reads cat. The next word L is going to help us. L. What is this? Leg. It is a leg. Very good. What am I going to put here? G. G for leg. Let's read it together. Leg. Here I've got, what is this? I. Yes, it is an I. What am I going to put here? E. E for I. What is this? Nose. Yes, it is a nose. What am I going to write? The letter N. We have a long tail. What is this? A tail. What letter am I going to write? T. A T for tail. Well done. I want you to complete this in your books. The other picture of the fish in a bowl, you do it by your Self. Our lesson is coming from page 21. In the previous lesson, we learned that nouns are names of places, people, and things. I have a list of names that you are going to fill in, fill in using people, places, and things. I have given you an example on the chalkboard of people. Can somebody name this picture? Grandma. Yes. Grandma. This is grandma. This is a noun name for people. The next picture is a? School. Yes, it is a school. Well done. This is an example of? A noun name for places. What is the next picture? Tree. It's a tree. It is a name of something. It is a tree. In your book, you are going to find words that are written underneath that you need to fill in. Use the words in the box to fill in the spaces that you've been given to write. Write them all. This lesson is for grade threes, but grade twos can also do this lesson. For our next activity, that is on page 22, we are going to color in the boxes. We are going to be helped by the picture that you see there. 
This is for both grade twos and grade threes. Have fun doing this activity. Let's look at the pictures. Let's look at the first word. Do we see a dog? Yes, yes there is a dog. Color in the box with the word dog. Let's look at the second word. Ball. Do we see a ball there? Yes. Yes, there is a ball. Color in the word ball. Great job. My friend has finished coloring all the words that he can see. He will show you what he has done. He did a very good job. Well done. The rest of the words you can do by yourself. This activity is coming from page 23. We are going to learn about new nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. You are, you are supposed to write a C on countable nouns and uncountable, a U on uncountable nouns. Besides each noun, we are going to write a C if it is a countable noun. What is a countable noun? Countable nouns are nouns that we can count. For example, tomatoes. We can count tomatoes. If we, we can count one, two, three tomatoes. And uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count. For example, sugar. Sugar in a bowl, we cannot count the, how many sugar they are. So those are uncountable nouns. I have some pictures there. The first picture has got carrots. Is it a countable noun or uncountable noun? Yes. Very good. It is an uncountable noun. So we are going to write a C besides the word carrots. You are going to write your C in the box like that. And then let's look for another noun that is there, tomatoes. Are they countable or uncountable nouns? They are countable. Very good. So you are going to write a C again on Countable nouns. Now, let's look for something that we cannot count. Can we count that broccoli to say one, two, three? No, so it is an uncountable noun. So you're going to write a U. Potatoes, can we count the potatoes? Yes, we can count the potatoes. So we're going to write a, U, a C. The rest you can do by yourself. There are also questions that are going to be asked. How many and how much? Write those by yourself at home. Let's turn to the next page, page 24, where we have punctuation marks. There are three types of punctuation marks that are there. The full stop. Can we all see the full stop? Point to the full stop in your book. The exclamation mark. Point to the exclamation mark in your book. The question mark. Next question, write the question mark. Point it in your book. Very Good. There are some sentences that are written there. I am telling. It is a short sentence. We end it with a full stop. I am yelling. Do we just say I am yelling? Or you say I am yelling. We, we read that with an exclamation mark. I am yelling. I am asking. When somebody is asking, what do we put? We put a question mark. So, 
I am asking is ended with a question mark. You are going to fill in this exercise with a full stop, exclamation mark, and a question. Do you have a hat? What am I going to put there? A question mark. Very good. The rest you are going to do by yourself. Read them and understand first before you answer. That was a beautiful lesson. I hope we all enjoyed the lesson for both grade 2 and 3. Before we go, remember to always sanitize. Spread out your arms. Make sure you don't touch the person next to you. Yes. Before we end this lesson, our friend Z Zoshi is always here to say goodbye with us. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Zoshi. And make sure to always Make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye! Want access to all your favorite local and international shows wherever you go? Here's how. Head to Showmax.com and click Try for Free for 14 days. Enter your email and create password. Choose your plan and payment method that suits you and start watching. You just opened up a whole new world of non-stop entertainment. Stream online or download the Showmax app to watch on your mobile or tablet anywhere, anytime. Visit Showmax.com now. We always love to hear from you. Send us your views, comments, and videos with your name and town to the One Africa TV's WhatsApp on 081-200-6659 or send an SMS to triple five. One Africa TV. It just gets better. Louisa and I have my friend here. The theme of the week is families and communities. In the previous lesson we learned about nouns. Nouns are names of places, people and things. Before we begin our lesson let us remember to sanitize our hands. Let us sanitize our hands. Rub them together. Spread out our arms so that we don't touch the person next to us. Our lesson, we're going to learn about reading and writing. Our reading lesson is coming from page 25, 26 and 27. This is for both grade threes and Two. On page 25, we are going to read the words and then we'll find them in the passages that I'm going to read for you. Remember to underline the words. For grade twos, 
I will read their story. There are five people in my family. Me, my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. My dad is 49 years old. He is a doctor. My mom is 48 years old. She is a teacher. We always go shopping together. I love my family. After you've read this, read it again until you understand two or three times and then answer the questions. Grade three, my family. We are a happy family. We love our home. There are five people in our family. There are many, they are my parents, my sister, my brother and I. In the morning, my father goes to his office. My brother, my sister and I go to school. Mother is a housewife. She stays at home to tidy the house and to cook the food. She knows that we are always hungry. The whole family helps mother. I wash the dishes and make my own bed. Betty helps mother to lay the table and to do the washing. Tom says a boy must work outside. He likes to help father in the garden, but I think he likes to play with the dog. I want to work in the garden too. It is hard work washing the dishes for the whole family. In the evening, we stay at home. Father reads the newspaper. Mother helps us with our homework. And then we watch television. Answer the questions. Only answer questions when you've read it again two or three times and answer all the questions. And remember to underline the words found on page 25. Were you able to answer all the questions about your family? Now we are going to draw our own family and this is found on page 28. I have drawn my own picture. Let's look at the picture. We have a father, mother, brother, sister and a baby. Here are some questions about yourself and your family. I want you to answer all the question. My name is, if it's me, I'm going to write, my name is Louisa. And the rest of the questions you're going to answer by yourself. On page 29, we find a family tree day. We have a grandfather and a grandmother. Father, mother, uncle, aunt, sister, you, cousin, cousin. This is extended and our immediate family. In the blocks below, we are going to fill in our immediate family first. And then we are going to fill in our extended family family. Our immediate family is mother, father, brother and sister. Our extended family has grandmother, grandfather, uncle, aunt and cousins. The family tree will help you to fill in the blocks. Did you draw your family? Our next activity on page 30, we're going to revise our numbers. We're going to be counting from one to 100. I know you can do it. We've done this before. This is for both grade two and grade three. Have fun with this activity. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Before we go, remember, to always sanitize, let us sanitize, 
rub our hands spread your arms out as usual before we go our friend Zoshi is here to say goodbye hi everyone I'm Joshi and make sure to always Make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye! In a year that has changed the way we work, connect, and unwind, Mnet Movies is changing the way you experience movies, transforming our movieverse to put you at the center of it all, where the perfect movie experience is waiting at any time, and finding it is as easy as... One, two, three, four. If you're looking for a fresh, feel-good movie, you'll find it on one. That is so true! Ready for all new action and a surge of adrenaline? Well, all right. It's waiting on two. Want something familiar, like your favorite stars? That's three. Amen! And if you just want to keep the whole house happy with popular franchises and sequels, four is for everyone. <laughs> With streamlined, uninterrupted movie channels 24-7, legendary pop-up channels curated for the fans, and a massive on-demand selection of your favorite movies from the biggest studios. So you can ignite the most extraordinary part of an ordinary day, every day. Get ready. Ignition. A unique movie experience is starting in... Mnet Movies for the love of movies. Everyone, I just wanted to invite you to meet my friends. This is all about not discriminating, understanding, respecting each other as human beings, as people, as wonderful individuals that deserve respect, do not deserve discrimination. But remember to bring everybody into the fold, all Namibians, as many people as you can, to understand that albinism is a gift. It is special. And I'm here to celebrate that today. Let's celebrate albinism!